Lucas had always been drawn to the paranormal. As a daring investigator, he had explored abandoned buildings, haunted houses, and even cemeteries in search of unexplained phenomena. But nothing could have prepared him for what he would encounter in the abandoned mansion, deep inside the woods. Carrying his trusty camera, Lucas set foot inside the decaying walls of the mansion. The air was thick with dust and the scent of decay, the only sound coming from the creaking floorboards beneath his feet. But as he began to take photographs, he felt a chilling presence surrounding him. As if he were being watched. Undeterred, Lucas captured the desolate and eerie scenes within the mansion. Each photograph seemed to reveal more than the last, as if the C.A. Mero was a gateway into the supernatural. Ghostly figures appeared in the background, their faces twisted in agony, while ominous shadows seemed to dance across the walls. But as Lucas delved deeper into the mansion's haunted corridors, he heard whispers in the dark. Strange voices that seemed to be calling out to him, beckoning him further into the depths of the mansion. At first, he thought it was just his imagination. But as he examined his photographs, he realized that the whispers were getting louder, and more menacing. Still, Lucas continued on, determined to uncover the secrets of the mansion. But his determination turned to fear when he stumbled upon a hidden room. A room filled with ominous symbols and strange artifacts, and in the center, a table surrounded by chairs, as if waiting for a seance to be conducted. As Lucas took more photographs, a feeling of dread enveloped him. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched, and the whispers had now turned into menacing laughter. But it wasn't until he found an ancient tome that he realized the true horror of the mansion. The book detailed the mansion's dark history, and Lucas realized that he had unleashed an ancient evil within its walls. Desperation set in as he tried to escape, but the mansion seemed to be alive, trapping him within its spectral grasp. The camera, which had once been his tool for exploring the unknown, now became a conduit for the supernatural. Each photograph showed shifting images of ghostly faces and tortured souls, and the line between the living and the dead began to blur. With each passing moment, the mansion seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, and Lucas knew he had to get out before it was too late. In a final attempt to escape, he ran towards the front door, but he found it locked from the outside. As he turned to look back at the mansion, he saw that it was now glowing with an eerie light, and the whispers had turned into a menacing roar. With a sense of dread, Lucas realized that he would never leave this place, haunted forever by the whispers in the dark. And as he walked away into the night, the mansion stood as a malevolent relic of the supernatural. Its secrets still waiting to be uncovered by those foolish enough to enter. But Lucas would carry the haunting memories with him for the rest of his life, a constant reminder of the whispers that still echoed in his mind.